Hello, Karina Antonopoulos here with the Center for Highly Sensitive People. We are on day nine of our series, our 14 Days to What I Want series. And today's question prompt for you is, what would your ideal situation look like? Okay, so around the thing that you wanna to bring to life, what would it look like? What would your ideal situation look like? That's part one. Part two is what would it feel like? Be specific, okay? So around the thing that you wanna to bring to life, what is your ideal situation? What does that look like? And also part two, what does it feel like? So <clears throat> we have to get used to planting seeds, okay? When instead of instead of instead of using the words, I have to get used to saying what I want, which I know a lot of you can go right into your head and get confused anytime the question of what do you want comes in. Instead of answering that, asking that question of what do you want, I'm instead inviting you to just plant seeds, okay? Because to me, planting seeds takes away the pressure that it has to happen right now. It has to manifest. It has to be co-created right now. And we don't want that. We don't want that pressure, especially someone like me who I, it's like I say I want something and then I expect it to happen right away or I expect myself to start to pursue it right away even though I know not, right now is maybe not the right time okay so what I like to say is I'm planting seeds and it's just so important for us to plant these seeds and to vision so that as we live our life those seeds can start to have their time to grow and to nurse and to and to be nourished so bit about the feeling the reason why we want to connect to the feeling is that the feeling part of it part of the vision is the part that is going to nourish the seed so the feelings are the sunshine and the water that make it grow okay so it's one thing to envision something and it's another to feel into it and for me, actually, it's really hard for me to envision something. Let me fix this crazy hair a little bit. If it's hard for me to envision something that I that I want, okay. If I can't envision something that I want, let me say it like that, then it probably is not something that I'm ready for that I want. Okay. If it's that I'm trying to copy someone else, that's not always a good place for me to create create from. But if I can imagine and if I can visualize something coming to be then I know the chances of it coming to life are much stronger okay and if I could feel into the feeling connected to that vision then I know that I'm already I'm ready on my way because when you are co-creating with the universe there are parts that are your job and there are parts that there are the universe's job the universe's job which means, if this is the universe's job, it means if you are trying to do any part of the universe's job, you need to stop and you need to say, oh, universe, here, I thought of a job for you. Here you go. The universe's job is to figure out the what, I mean, sorry, no, <laughs> to figure out the when, the where, and the who, okay? So when something will come to be, where something will come to be from or where that person will come from or who that person will be okay those are not up to you so we cannot get attached to people and say oh this is the person or we can't get attached to the place and be like oh this is the place especially can't get attached to the timeline because miracles can happen in an instant but also sometimes things need to take their time and the timeline that you've created is probably not the timeline that will be needed to create the thing that you want we're very bad at doing timelines you can create some sort of structure of a timeline but <clears throat> maybe that's just to give you motivation on to take steps but it's you have to really surrender over when something is gonna come to life and happen because you really don't have control over it because there's so much involved in creating especially the really big things okay so the universe's job is to figure out the when the where and the who if you're trying to do any of that you're just gonna run your wheels dry okay you need to stop you're not gonna get anywhere okay but I'm gonna tell you what your job is 
and I'm going to tell you, you're going to resist this. You're going to resist it. So your job is to focus on the what, the what you want to feel, and the why. Okay? Those are the main parts. The universe cannot do this part for you. The universe is not going to say, oh, you want this. No, we live in a world of free will. The universe wants you to co-create. So it is your job, your individual will, to say, this is what I want. Okay? So this is your job to plant the seeds and it's also your job to tune into the feelings that you want to feel because like i said yesterday if you don't tap into the feelings then when you when that thing comes to life and it's here you're gonna feel like it's not enough you're gonna feel disappointed not satisfied and that is the worst thing where you just put so much effort into making something come to be but you <laughs> didn't connect to that feeling and so once it's here it just feels empty and then you feel disappointed about how much effort it took to bring to life. Okay, so you really want to tune into the feeling. Okay, so today, time to get out your journal and start writing down, be specific, details. If things could be ideally my situation, what would it be? So I just want to share, share with you, years ago, when I was first learning all this, um, a, lot of this a lot of this teaching comes from some of the Abraham Hicks books. Um, and I kind of just piecemealed little bits together because I'm highly sensitive and I pick up on very small details and then I make my own teachings out of things where and when it makes sense. So I remember at the time I was living in San Diego and I would bring these books to the beach and I would read and I remember I would tell my husband Frank, like we were just paying our, our rent, mind you, when we live in San Diego, we were just paying our rent, we were just getting by. And I said to him, I'm planting a seed that we're going to have, we're going to be able to afford to have a house in all the places that we love to live. So my husband and I, we have family in New York. We loved California. We really liked Colorado, especially for, this, for, this, for the skiing and snowboarding. And we really loved Hawaii. Okay, so I planted the seed that we're going to be able to, we're going to be able to buy a house in all the places that we love so that we can go and visit whenever we want. So, of course, right away, I'm just playing, right? I'm just playing. I'm just planting seeds because, and then I'm not attached to it, how it's going to happen, right? But, of course, my husband right away is like, that's ridiculous. I don't know who you think you are. Like, where is that money going to come from? And I was like, dude, I don't know. But I know that I'm a powerful co-creator, especially when I have you on my team. So that's the other thing. When you have, when you partner up with someone, I think I shared this already, but when you partner up with someone, whether it is a significant other or it is a family member or a friend or a community or even a coach, right? The energy behind your vision gets stronger with every person that is in the vision and creating the vision. So I needed him on board, but I also knew that he might, it might take a little bit more time because he has his doubts. But for me, I'm just playing. I'm just planting seeds. Okay? So, you know, like now, how many years later? Five years later, we're living in New York. We own a house. Okay? So now we own our first house. We're in New York. And, I mean, I can very much see how it's possible that, like, if we wanted, if we wanted to start investing money that we are making in our family... Um, how we could start investing that money into real estate, right? So some people invest in businesses, some people invest in real estate, some people invest in the stock market. But because we love to travel, maybe we would invest in another state like real estate. Um, I don't know. But I, ju I do know that we're probably one step closer just because we're a little bit more established with our, with our careers. So again, I'm not attached to the when. I'm just showing up and living my life and letting that seed there be there and be, be planted. So it's just important to remember, especially with this question, that again, everything starts as a thought. Everything starts as a thought. Even the world that we're living in right now, as crazy as it is, it started as a thought. Someone created the thought and now it's here. So if you want the world that you live in to be different, create a new thought, create a new vision, and then see and connect with the people who have that same vision as you and come and work together to make that vision 
come true. So as I was preparing for this video, I was thinking about how a lot of my manifestation energy has gone towards the last few years, finding the place that I want to live, buying a house, getting pregnant, having my son, et cetera, et cetera. So a lot of the first chakra family stuff. And I had the thought of, wow, I know that I really would love for our country to embrace the whole universal health care thing. I know some people are against it. I know that the current president is not for it. Not even both candidates that are running for president are for it. So it's like there's a part of me that could be like, oh, this is impossible. But you know what? Why wouldn't I use my manifestation power, power to help the greater good? If I know that I can create a great partner, an amazing place to live, every place we've traveled to, um, a home to live in, a great community, great friends, health, great pregnancy. Like, I know, like, to me, <laughs> I don't know, like, some people might think those are big things, and I do think these are big things. They're big personal things. But why can't I use that manifestation powder, power to co-create something for our country? Because I know I'm not the only one. Okay, so I just decided as I was preparing for this video, I want universal health care for our country. That's it. The seeds have been planted. Okay? So that's where some of that's where my some of my manifestation power is going to go because I mean obviously I've I've said I've I've supported this, but I haven't declared that like Okay, universe, you co-create this with me, right? It was, it was always, we don't have universal health care. It's not possible. The people who are in power don't want it. And all the reasons why we can't have it, right? It's like, just like we do with any vision that we plant the seed for, we think about all the reasons why it's not possible. I was doing the same thing with this whole idea of universal health care, but why? Okay, so guess what? I'm surrendering, surrendering the when, the where, the who, who's like AKA for here, it's who can make the universal healthcare thing come to life. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is that the seed has been planted and connecting to the feeling of that, of how many people that would help. Oh, yes, I can connect to that. Okay. So that is what I, I want to share with you guys today, but I want you to focus. So it's, I've been doing this co-creation stuff for many years now. So I feel like I'm ready to start help, helping co-create bigger things. And I don't know, I don't know how it's gonna happen. But I do know, so like I said, I have, you have the universe's job, you have your job, and then you have kind of like in the middle, we have the Venn diagram, right? We have the universe's job, your job, and then we have a little sliver in the middle where it's connected. And that connection of what is both of your jobs is the how. Okay, but the how in the sense that you get from your intuition, guidance and instruction and steps on how to bring yourself closer and closer to that thing, right? So you receive the, the guidance from your intuition and then your job, that's the universe job, is to give you the guidance and direction. Your job is then to take action when you receive that guidance, okay? It's not to figure out the steps, it's not to figure out how to make it happen. All you need to do is take action on the how when it's giving to you. Okay, so I think I shared this in one of my other videos in the Nourish series that there are a lot of really big things happening in our country. Things are falling apart, but like now is the time to plant new seeds and create, especially as things are falling apart. Okay, and again, it's I don't need to figure out the how. I just need to take action when the how is presented to me, okay? So be mindful as you are planting your seeds for today. You are th making a long list, writing out a long paragraph of what your ideal si situation look like and feel like. Be mindful of the things that are going to get in the way. The doubt and the fear and the pressure and the frustration of like how it's how it's how are you going to make it happen, okay? No. Now you already know. Now you already know what the universe's job is. Now you know what your job is. And you also know what your job with the universe is. So you have, you have all the tools that you need, okay? 
and we do have a few more days in our series so we're going to be talking a little bit more about what will help strengthen your vision moving forward and also about taking action and listening to your intuition all right i think that's all i want to share for today please share in the comments share with me what does your ideal situation look like around the thing you want to bring to life what does it feel like be specific all right i'll see you tomorrow take care Bye bye